Hey guys, it's Nana and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video like many where I go into the world and give a sim a makeover. Just something I like to do in my spare time, just mess around. It's very therapeutic and I think I repeat myself 20 times in this month alone telling you how much I find it enjoying and how much I find it relaxing to play sims and to give sims makeovers. It must be something to do with my youth. I always like to play with Barbies. Perhaps playing with Barbies is some sort of the beginning of me playing sims? Because if you think about it, when you're a kid and you have a Barbie, at least I had Barbies, I had a lot of Barbies and I had like a big giant Barbie house when I was obviously very younger. I sold it. I mean, I'm kind of I wouldn't say sad about it. I <laughs> I have this slight regret um, now as I'm older that I actually got rid of it. Not necessarily because I wanted a person that could have played with that, you know, dual house would have been my cat because he actually would fit in there. It was quite tall as well. I have many good memories of that, but you know, besides the besides that, I'm probably never going to use it. I would have loved to give it to like my children one day, or even if I had no children, to give it to someone else who actually has children, so I can. I don't know. It it I had so much fun, and I remember I was twelve or thirteen, and I was like, "Mom, I, I don't play with Barbies. It's kind of big. Can we get rid of this?" And then she sold the things, and I got some money for them in return as well. And she kept asking me, "Are you sure? Are you sure?" And I was like, yeah, I'm sure. And then now I'm like over 20. In my 20s, and I'm like, hmm. What did I just do? <laughs> I would have loved to keep it just for the sake of knowing how much joy it gave me and for wanting to give that joy to my kids. And maybe build, um, like, like a little bit of nostalgia to maybe one day, hopefully if I have some kids, to play with the kids and play with that house. And it's like I said playing with barbies is like playing with sims it's just you actually have to physically do the things that you're doing in the sims right so it's like a child version of the sims on all honesty isn't it i mean if we think about it isn't playing with barbies just some first stage of playing with sims so you start with barbies go to brats at least i went from barbies to brats dolls to wings dolls and then i went to sims yeah quite the evolution and here I am doing casts and I find the therapeutic and I wonder why it's so distressing to me. And I really think that is distressing to me because I used to play with Barbies. But that's just my theory because I'm used to distressing, having storylines and playing with myself, talking to myself. You know what I mean? I did never needed anyone else to play with me. I never needed anyone to keep me occupied the entire time. I just kept myself occupied with storylines. I remember my brother had like action mans and Kens. No, we didn't have a Ken. He had action man. And I would always, because I didn't own a Ken doll. So I always played with the action figures as a man and with the Barbies. I, somehow that's what I did. And I actually did not have a very typical girly childhood either because yes, I play with Barbies and Wings dolls and Bratz dolls. And my best friend had Polly Pocket, which like that was the more expensive thing. I think it was more expensive or I don't know if it was more expensive or just so different, but she had that and I always play with that as well. But my brother had swords and cars. It had like a whole mat of like um, a road map. Like on you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's like the big map of here's a fire station, here's a road, here's a hospital, whatever. You could like it get your toy car and drive over it he used to have that and i used to love playing with that as well and i used to play sims already like i think when i was playing barbie sims wasn't around but there were so many computer games i was playing uh frogger i was playing rayman i was obviously i was playing barbie in the computer as well oh my god it's, it gives me the chills thinking about all these things i used to do when i was a kid just because i don't even think half of you guys who watch my videos i mean if you are around my age, you would know, but if you're not, if you're, I think, I estimate, if you're like 14, 15 now, or younger, you would definitely not know what Rayman is, and Frogger, I don't think you guys would know that, and I don't even think you guys know the joys of playing with Barbies, I mean, I already feel like this generation, like my generation of the 90s was probably like the last that I actually properly enjoyed playing inside, because when the phones came, which phones, phones happened when I was in 
high school. I got my first phone was a flip phone. It was fun. Well, actually, it was my first actual, like, bought for me phone because my mom had an old gray Nokia that she gave me, but that's not really my phone, but, like, the proper phone was a flip phone, and I got it when I was 14, 15, which was in high school, obviously. <laughs> and then the first actual Samsung I got, which was the Samsung S3, I got was in, I believe, when I was 17 or 18. Can you imagine? I got my first actual the Samsung, yeah, the S3 came out when I was like 17 or 18. And now we already have the 9. <laughs> like, just just think about that for a second. Just, oh my god, this is crazy. Am I saying that right then? Because wouldn't there be a year in between? Well, 3. 3 and three and 9 is 6 years. Yeah, yeah. I was 17. Plus 6 is like 22, 23. Imagine. You guys don't even know what a flip phone is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, dopey. My cat is staring at me. I also have some a clip of my cat. If you're still listening, hi. I didn't mean to babble about this, but for some reason, I just decided to talk about Barbies for the entire video. And Dopey was here earlier, and he's looking at me now because he wants to go out and I close the door so we have some peace and quiet to record this voiceover. He's staring at me now, aren't you? I don't know if you can hear him. You probably can't. But I have a clip here of Dopey purring in the microphone. Um, I don't like ASMR, but... If you're into that, here's a clip of Dopey purring. <laughs> Hi, Dopey. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, this is just a random cast. I'm just going to talk about the video as well because I know some of you guys really do want to hear something about the video. This is just a random cast. Nothing too special about it. I love her. I want it. Okay. So the whole point of this cast was I wanted to do a cast. And then I was like, wow, okay. The Sims is doing this collab with um, Machino, which is, if you're not familiar with The Sims 4, I'm just kidding. If you're not familiar with Machino, it's basically a brand. Let's just say you and me, broke as bitches, we cannot afford that shit. But if you're, how would I put that? If you sold your soul to the devil at an early age, or you're in, you know, high, high depths, you will probably be able to afford it. Most people that afford it, I think, myself, are people that are really wealthy or they do really well on YouTube or they get sponsored. I don't think people with an average job, to be fair, just to be honest, this is my opinion, I don't think we should, we can afford this kind of thing. Because life is already expensive as it is, so unless you actually have like a hundred dollars, I think it's dollars, I think Machino is not a euro thing. Unless you have a hundred dollars you can spare um, a month, I don't think you should purchase it. And I think the only people that really have hundreds of dollars a month free are people that have their shit together. <laughs> and that brought me to this cast. I got inspired. This cast is called... Well, it's not called anything. I'm gonna call it something like thrift something. Cheap, cheap ass something, you know. The, the broke machine over again. Um, <laughs> this I want her to look like she thrifted everything, because let's be let's be fair. We broke, okay. Most of the people my age are broke bitches. We are broke. We're not gonna be able to afford this machino line. And you know what? If The Sims Four designed this for us, then The Sims Four is as much is even more stupid than I. Dopey, could you stop that? The Sims Four is even more stupid than I think they are. I think that The Sims 4 is not doing as well as the other Sims, and <laughs> conspiracy theory with Nana, I think they're not earning enough money from The Sims alone, which is why they're asking more, like, how they're, why they're asking for less content, asking more for less content, and why they paired up with a brand that's actually quite on the high end, because it's gonna, you know, uh, it's gonna bring in all the revenue. And the people that can't afford it, you know, they wouldn't probably afford The Sims either. Um, I don't know, I just, I just feel like it's a whole different... It's just a whole other area of Sims players and it's gonna, it's gonna bring so much cash. Because people that can afford that shit are gonna... I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say too much about it because that sounds probably really rude and stupid, but... That's kind of what I feel about that. So here's my version of broke ass bitch because most of our Sims players are broke. And you know what? 
here's my tip. If you can't afford The Sims 4 and you refuse to give them your money, just crack the whole game. Really, honestly, just crack it. Get it over with. Don't give them your money. They steal enough. Okay, maybe that's just my opinion. This is probably why nobody ever wants to sponsor me. I said sponsor? No, no, no. An EA game changer. Because I'm too honest. <laughs> I really am kind of honest, quite honest, and blunt, and... My opinion is probably too harsh for the most world, but you know what? That's just how it is. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'm going to go and let my cat out, sell my soul so I can afford some of this machine of shit and move along. Bitches. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, and um, this video might not have links because I, I just don't get today. I'm sorry.